Okay, so still on custom color. I'm sure you are probably wondering what is the need in creating a custom column for something that is based on a condition when you can easily just create a conditional column, right? Now, let's take a look at this together. Let's assume that I would like to create a conditional column that is based on more than a single column or that is based on multiple conditions. So take, for example, we are about to give 20% discount to a couple of customers and the customer that is going to benefit from this 20% discount is any customer that has purchased something worth over $1,500 and also has purchased over five quantities. So that is two conditions. Before the discount is going to be applied, the customer has to purchase over $1,500 worth of sales. So for example, this person has over $1,500, this person has over $1,500, this person also has over $1,500. So these three people have over $1,500 in sales. But the condition does not stop there because there is an additional condition that says also the person must purchase over five quantities of products, right? Now, when you look at these three people, how many of them have actually purchased over five quantities? Only one. So technically speaking, this is the only person that is going to get this our 20% discount from the list of three people because two conditions have to be met not just a singular condition now if we try to go to conditional column to do that if we start you see that our conditional statement using the conditional column has only one column name to check in the if condition not two columns but we need to check two columns in this condition because we have to check the sales column to ensure it is over 1500 and we also have to check the quantity column to ensure that it is over five quantities purchased, right? So conditional column is not going to work for us here. We have to go to use our custom column. So now when I click custom column, I'm going to come to my column name and put in something like discount. And then I will go to my custom formula to say that if I'm using a space, if my sales value, which is the first condition I want to check, is greater than 1500 that is if sales is greater than 1500 which is first part of the condition now there's the second part of the condition which is and so i'm going to literally type in the and there if you have to use the all condition you can literally type the all condition so i'm using the and here so if sales is greater than 1500 and quantity is also greater than five then i can now type in my then i want the person to get a discount of 20 percent which essentially is 0 0.2 else the person gets no discount which is zero then i can click my okay and you can see that i have only a couple of people that have that discount anywhere you see 0 0.2 here it has to be that the sales is over 1,500 and the quantity is also over five. Now, if I go to right click there and I try to edit settings, like I want to edit my formula, you will see that this is only going to bring me back to my custom formula dialog box because really when you have to test conditions that are more than a singular logic, any condition that has an and or that has an or requires more than a singular logic you cannot use conditional column to do that you have to use custom column to write out that conditional expression